mile on it's extremely hot mm -hmm. and uh, this would be hopefully we can get a good rotation going on in the grass fields now so that we it's not near as hot mm -hmm. thought the guys worked through it pretty well again right now uh, we're still working of course to get into great shape mm -hmm. it's really taxing on our big guys right. of course but uh but i am pleased we, we still putting in some offense and defense and special teams so uh, we're taxing them not just physically but also mentally mm -hmm. I guess, Coach. I guess this is your first time actually, you know, seeing them in pads. Uh, what, what do you think? Physically, how do you think they look compared to maybe last season? Well, uh, it looks like we got a lot more competition for positions, mm -hmm. and that's what we wanted. Uh, so we'll get that taken care of. Uh, we, you know, and that's a good thing. So hopefully, we're developing more depth. We still have some injuries, some little nagging injuries. Mm -hmm. We got to get guys back because what happens is they start missing so much time then we have to move on without them. And then by the time they come back, they can't catch up mentally. It takes a while. So hopefully they don't, they don't miss too many practices. Saturday's kind of a big, kind of a fun day for you guys. Tell me what y'all have going yeah, on Saturday. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep some guys out mm -hmm. just because of still, we're, some of our guys that had surgeries during the off season, right. we're still bringing them along. We know kind of what kind of players they are. Mm -hmm. But what we want to do is see a lot of the young guys. We're going to be pretty basic on offense and defense this first one. Mm -hmm. And then the next one, a week from then, we'll, we'll do a lot more scheme. Mm -hmm. But right now, I just want to see guys out there in front of a few people and see how they react. You're know, going to do two use Maniacs again on, on yes, Saturday? Yes, right? yes, exactly. We're going to have it. 10:30, right at our scrimmage should last from about 9 to 10:30, okay. and then at 10:30, what we want to do is to have, um, you know, uh, kids, children 7 to 12 are more than welcome to stay out here, and we'll have some of the players and some of the coaches just help put them through a few drills, just have a few, a little bit of fun for about a half an hour, 45 minutes, because it'd be real hot, and just all we're trying to do is to give something back to the community. Mm -hmm. Coach, you're also working on the position breakdown on the receivers slash tight ends. Can you talk about that group, uh, kind of how you feel like they, they're coming along right now? Well, I feel like a receiver, we got more competition than we've had. Mm -hmm. So that would be very good for us right there to be able to uh, – and not have to take the foot off the bre uh, mm -hmm. accelerator. You know, we're able – if we get a nick or two or an injury or two, we're able to get out there and, and keep the tempo going in practice. So I expect that we have a little bit more speed than we've been having. So we got a little bit of – Right now on paper, it looks like we got some more big play potential guys. Mm -hmm. Last thing, but also the defensive line position breakdown. Obviously, you talk about that position a little bit. Um, I know you got a couple guys that might be kind of dinged up at that spot, but talk about defensive line for The defensive line? Yeah. Again, we've got a, a, a few entries there. we right. got some young guys that are going to have to play early. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, they don't have to play down after down, but they're going to have to play early. And, mm -hmm. And so right now, Coach Donaldson's rotating a bunch of guys in there to give them a good look. And again, uh, you know, I'm excited about it. Right now, it's just a position that uh, is, is going to have to produce, just like our offensive line. They both go through those groups, have to be very steady for us to make progress as a team. All right, drinks uh, within that unit. All right, defense line right now, we're, uh, we're getting better as we go along each day. Um, one thing we got to do is keep up the intensity. And mm -hmm. as a defense line, we want to be physical, and I'm just trying to get our guys to have that mentality of being physical and not staying on blocks mm -hmm. and then just getting off the ball and making plays instead of just taking up blocks. We want to make plays, get sacks, tackles for loss and everything mm -hmm. like that. We should be able to change the game. Mm -hmm. On the on rundowns, on pass downs, we should be in the quarterback's face on pass. We should be mm -hmm. tackling the back in the backfield on runs and stuff. Mm -hmm. And we just got to start playing physical and fast. And mm -hmm. I think we're getting to it. And I think we've improved greatly since we've started uh, camp so far. Who's some of the guys that you're going to lean on at, at that spot? Well, right now, two, uh, two seniors right now who have emerged as leaders of the group mm -hmm. is Darrell Brown and um, Fern Gardner, Fernandez Gardner. Right. Um, they come out to practice every day ready to play. Mm -hmm. they, they talk. They get people motivated. So right now they've stepped up to be the leaders. And then Marlon Williams is another senior nose guard who's worked his way right now into the starting position. And he gets better every day. And as long as he continues to get better every day, he's going he's gonna to be able to play for us. Mm -hmm. um, and then behind him, Jordan Thompson has been a, a pleasant surprise. Mm -hmm. Um, stepping up, um, he's growing up. He's a true sophomore right now. He's got some playing time at the end of the season last year, and he's um, he's shown a, a great improvement. Um, AC Carter, um, walk on. He's on second team, playing second team right, right now, and knows every as long as he uh, continues to pick up the defense like he does. Uh, his knowledge of the game and knowledge of the defense is helping him play. And he, you know, he's a short guy and mm -hmm. everything. And people say he's probably I don't know five. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Five, I want to say five nine. Give mm -hmm. him a little bit of benefit mm -hmm. of the doubt. He's probably taller than that. Mm -hmm. But by him understanding the defense and everything, he's able to get in there with the big boys and uh, and bang patch with them. And then our our incoming guys. Um, our, we had a JUCO transfer, Lorenzo Young. Mm -hmm. 
who's come out and become a pleasant surprise and has great feet and great hands. And, you know, him coming from Juco has those extra two years already under his belt. Mm -hmm. That helped, you know, helps him a lot. And then our young guys as well, um, Jared Bro, Eric Trench, and Drew Aber, they've, they've all come out here and worked hard. And the, the older guys have came out and, you know, took them under their wing mm -hmm. and taught them everything and not letting the young guys slack on anything and make right. sure they're doing the drills correctly. Mm -hmm. I guess, and it's, I guess it doesn't matter who's running with the ones or twos because you've got to figure you're going to need, throughout the course of the season, it's long. You're going to need everybody to, to contribute at certain times. Mm -hmm. Just talk about the importance of having everybody kind of on the same page and everybody ready to, anybody ready to come in at any time to, uh, to help out. Yeah, um, like right now when we're in meetings, the, I, like we right now they all have specific positions. Like right. one place to nose, one place to tackle, <laughs> right. and one place to end. But when I teach it, when we're in meetings, I make sure that every position, each one, each guy, knows mm -hmm. the other person's position. Right. So if we do have an injury or someone mm -hmm. goes down, they can go in the game. During uh, during practice, Hunter Hannigan, he, he'll go in for a couple of plays at uh, the, the strong side end, mm -hmm. and then he'll rotate over and play the tackle as well. Mm -hmm. And then Mike Woods plays the end, and he knows how to play the tackle as well. Mm -hmm. So we're getting everybody to learn every position. That way there's no excuses. If there's a the tight call called the wrong side, or mm -hmm. if for some reason they end up on the wrong side, they right. still know what to do. Mm -hmm. So that's really, um, really important in our defense mm -hmm. as well. I guess the last thing would just be, you know, they said they kind of hang out together. How important is that for those guys to kind of have each other's back off the field uh, as well as on the field too? Oh, it's important. And that's one thing I try and preach to them. And we, we're doing it. We do a little thing, a little big brother, little bro, right. brother program. And mm -hmm. I, threw, I threw a little um, curveball into them. And, you know, after practice I'll, every day, I'll usually ask them, you know, something about one, mm -hmm. and, you know, ask the big brother something about little brother, something mm -hmm. without having to do with football right. and everything through a curveball and that's someone who didn't have a little brother mm -hmm. if they knew anything about the young guys and, mm -hmm. and they did which was a good surprise so mm -hmm. they're they're hanging out and we, we got them all you know they eat lunch together mm -hmm. breakfast together mm -hmm. and everything so and this Sunday we're going to all try and go to a restaurant eat out together mm -hmm. as a as a group and just get away from football and right. get, you know get the group away from football and everything all right anything else you want to say about D-line coach no I'm, I've been really impressed and uh, we just we just got to keep working and we got to be able to make plays for us all right, dealing with this heat. Uh, honestly, it was a pretty good feeling just having full pads on. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like just coming out here with the team and everybody just amped up and ready to go at it for the first time since spring, ready for the new season to come. So mm -hmm. it was a pretty good feeling today. Coach Silva was just talking about the importance of uh, good defensive line play, good line play on both sides of the ball this right. season. Talk about y'all position and maybe some of the strength that y'all have at y'all defensive line position. Um, well, currently we just got in, uh, we have a, a deep defensive line. This right, year now. right. So we got a Juco in, he's going to help out a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, the seniors that we have now, we, uh, we're looking forward to doing some really good things on the D-line. Mm -hmm. And like, as long as we can cope together, mm -hmm. it'll be pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't, I guess it doesn't matter who's starting because you know everybody in the, is going to get in the rotation, right. and it's key for everybody to just. So just talk about that unity y'all have uh, on that defensive line. Yes, sir. Uh, well, like for starters, like me and, uh, and Eddie Udo, we've been here since my freshman year, mm -hmm. and uh, me and him been we coped together pretty good. He just brought his friend in from uh, Texas, and uh, he's now a defensive tackle or defensive right. end. And so like everybody's kind of coming together. We're all cool with each other. We mm -hmm. hang out a lot hey. together. So it's, it's actually coming along pretty mm -hmm. good. Right. Anything else you want to say about uh, going forward in camp? Um, honestly, like the camp looks like it's just rolling along fine. Mm -hmm. Like our whole team is actually like the balls is finally starting to roll. So right. This year we're looking for a good year. All right. Thanks, man.